let's go. Welcome to our first episode of RimWorld as a one-off series. And this is going to be a little bit different one-off series. If you don't know what RimWorld is, uh, the best way to describe it is it is a colony simulator by Tynan Sylvester Stallone. Uh, but in all reality, what that means is this is a colony simulator in which it's... In my error, I made the mistake during our first look at it to say to liken it to Prison Architect, and it is similar to that. However, I learned uh, the hard way. Probably have about three to four hours in this game, uh, so my experience is limited. But it's more of you create an environment in which your colonists either listen to you or they don't, and it's more of a, a management from that standpoint as opposed to giving people direct orders and they instantly follow them, a la Prison Architect. But that's why I'm saying this is going to be a very different. Uh, let's play in a definitely a one-off experimental series because we're going to do this as a mimic series. Uh, the reason why I want, I've always wanted to start a series on RimWorld, it is a space game which fits the channel amazingly. I like simulation games like this, but uh, long story short, I was relaxing watching a, a YouTube series by uh, my friend Northern Lion. And uh, I watched it and enjoyed it. And uh, it inspired me. I'm like, hey, yeah, let's do a little one-off. But I don't just want to do a normal Let's Play. What I'm going to do is, uh, in case you guys don't know who Northern Lion is, uh, he is a very charismatic YouTuber. And uh, I enjoy his, his content, and, and uh, he's a friend of mine. But anyways, as he started up his RimWorld colony, uh, he named a character after himself, after Mathis Games, another friend. And he also named a character after me. And I said, you know what? Uh, what if I did my own Mimic series of Ryan's? colony and and try to do similar things that he does from a lore standpoint from a building standpoint not identical but maybe follow along this the same lines of what he has going on we're i'm definitely going to bite his uh his seed and just see maybe i don't want to say who plays it better or who survives longer or who's the better uh architect of the rim world but i am kind of saying that and in addition um it's going to be fun. I, I just didn't want to do a, a standard Let's Play in this. I wanted to try something different in an experimental standpoint and see if you guys enjoyed it. Um, we will always be one episode behind Ryan because I, I watch his episode and I'll, I'll look for inspiration on, on things that we want to emulate. Maybe things that we want to go a different route on. Uh, but if you guys do plan on watching his series, which I'm sure a lot of you already have... Uh, please let me know in the comments below if I missed something or if there's something in particular you'd like to see us emulate and maybe take a different direction in the comments below. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started and uh, we're going to make all the same decisions because I want to set up a similar environment and then we'll, we'll put our own spin on it. But nonetheless, we're going to do a, the crash landed scenario. So we're going to start with three survivors. I'm a survivor. All right, so we're going to do the classic Cassandra. Um, and if you guys are more interested in finding out, hey, what does all this stuff mean? This may not be the. No, I'm gonna say. I was gonna say you may want to check out the first look at, it, but I'm gonna be learning along with you guys. Like I said, I have some experience in this, not a ton, um, but it is helpful. It was helpful watching Ryan's series. So speaking of, oh, let's go with the uh, the classic base builder. Hey, I may regret this. I'm gonna go rough. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do rough. Let's go for it. We're gonna roll the dice. We're not gonna do perma death mode. Let's go ahead and go next. All right. So like I said, we're gonna bite his seed, and we're, his seed was T. A R A S Taras, and let's go ahead and generate. Let's see if it is the same seed. It may be. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below if it's identical. Looks pretty similar to me, but uh, eh, let's uh, start in the tundra area. But hey, I don't know about the precipitation. We could go to a dense rainforest, but it may be a little too hot. So let's go in this region right here. Seems to be nice. We got we got some uh, protection, some natural protection from the mountains. Let's go ahead and go select our site. Now this is where you kind of make your money here, right? So let's go ahead and uh, let me explain this. So the skills are extremely important. And what these little icons mean, I didn't really know what they meant until recently. But it means their level of passion. So the larger the flame, the more the passion. And what the passion means is that you're able to learn or increase the trait um, in a quicker way than if you weren't passionate about it. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what this individual is all about. She's a nudist. Um, she's a jogger. She moves with essential urgency, and she's abrasive, okay, and capable of being intellectual. She's good at melee and good at social. Um, not bad at construction and a good cook. So, a nudist, a jogger, and abrasive, and capable of being intellectual. So I, I don't mean to offend anyone, um, but uh, I'm just gonna, one of these traits. Uh, we'll tie into Ryan. That's a fact. He's a former jogger. He's not abrasive at all. He's not a nudist, to my knowledge. Um, and he is 
a, a high intellectual. However, uh, I believe he did break bake bread as a kid, and he is now a message carrier for a, a larger constituency. Constituency. So we're gonna name him. Uh, this will be our Northern Lion character. Nor Northern Eggy. Northern Lion. So we actually need to make this Northern Lion. Northern Lion Eggy. No, let's name him Northern Lion NL Northern Lion. Okay, so he is uh, 31 of a biological age, but 61 in real life. I'd say that's probably his knowledge. He has a knowledge of a 61-year-old, of a but nonetheless, let's go into Nico the Architect. Nico is good at the Medici family medicine. He's great at construction, great at mining, also very artistic and shooting. This is what I like to call, this is a great roll of the die. What is he not good at? He's a survivor. He's an architect and capable of dumb labor. That's the kiss of death. Oh, I won't, I'm not going to have anyone in my colony who's, uh, who's incapable of dumb labor. See, that's, that's the only downfall. He's great at everything, but he's not going to, he's not going to, Haul his fair share. Um, he's a slowpoke and also abrasive. Tends to rub people the wrong way. That kind of fits Ryan, now that I think about it, but not in a bad way. It just takes a minute to get his humor. I always joke with him that if he were to play Big Brother, he'd, he'd probably be one of the first ones out because people wouldn't necessarily understand his humor, or at least long enough to get his humor. Um, but outside of that. See, this could really... We could roll the dice with this, but... That's kind of disconcerting right there. That's He's good at construction though. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to we're going to we're going to call this this will be Mathis. Um because he is a survivor and he plays a lot of survival games. So we're going to go Mathis Mathis games. Mathis 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 games. Last name games. Um so and then Red the Janitor, music lover, starship janitor, like Roger Wilker from the from the Space Quest series, which taught me how to type as a young lad. Um, de good at shooting, good, decent at cooking, artistic, crafting, research, incapable of nothing. I like that. Psychically dull. Red's mind is physically out of tune with others. He isn't affected by psychic phenomenon. Night Owl likes to stay up late. He gets a mood bonus for Wake at Night and a masochist. There's something exciting about getting hurt. Alright, sorry, sir. I, I can't get down with that. Um, I'm capable of dumb labor. We already have one of those. I'm just looking at when I'm randomizing our character. Um, we can't have two dumb labor people. Incapable of being intellectual. A house servant. Nah, we don't want that. Incapable of none. Alright, let's see what this individual is good at. Uh, we could have some shooting skill here. Incapable of violence. Incapable of social and artistic. Alright, this could be us. Childhood was a mute. Adulthood, human computer. Hard worker. Too smart. Depressive. That was perennial and happy. She has trouble sustaining a good mood. <sighs> can't get can't get down with that. Uh what you gotta give us something here. Heat lover. So there is no perfect build, right? We're not gonna keep randomizing and get an OP build, but just just give me a little time here. We're gonna we're gonna get someone. Keep being scary. I don't know what that means. All right, this looks like someone we can get down with here. Shooting, melee, social animals, good. Not very good at construction. Good at growing. This is our guy right here. Daughter. <laughs> All right, so I guess we are the daddy. Um, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, Careful shooter. That's us. Annoying voice, potentially. Night owl. We're this is gonna be us. We're gonna name this uh, Dan. Dan. Geesling. And I think we got a good squad here. I think this is an accurate squad. Let's just review real quick. NL the messenger. He's good at melee and social. Uh, incapable of being an intellect. Hopefully Mathis is in intellect. Uh, which would be what? Research. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna have to be the researcher. All right, so here we go. Relations, no relations. Northern Lion. <laughs> I'm the father of Northern Lion. I like it. I like our crew. Let's go ahead and jump in and enjoy the smooth jazz of RimWorld. I'm excited. You know, this is, like I said, this is a series I've 
always, always, always wanted to start. And it's going to be based on your guys' response to it, actually. This looks like us. I can get down with us if we're in a futuristic punk world. All right, so the three of you wake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi. And uh, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making your plans to survive. All right, there we are, boys. All right, so I'm going to pause this and get set up. Um, part of this, it's actually really helpful watching Ryan's Let's Play uh, because he has more time log, but also uh, picked up a few tips. One of which, let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to do is uh, this is our steel. And I guess steel is very, a very valuable resource. It represents your life in the game. And once you have no steel, then you two are extinguished from the game of Survivor. That is what Jeff Probst says. That's not what we say. We're also, so we're going to go ahead and unrestrict these because we're going to use it. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to set ourselves up a nice structure to uh, to love up in. And I kind of like this area here. We're in a nice general region here. What is that? That's near water too. Okay, we can get down with that. So let's go ahead. We're going to set up a building here first and foremost. And uh, we'll go to architect. We're going to go to structure. Uh, and we're going to make our stuff... All of our compound, at least in the beginning, out of wood. Reason being is, uh, I guess, steel is extremely valuable in the game. So let's make a... We'll go 10. By... By 9... Eh, we'll go 10 by 10. By 10. By 10. And then we'll split the D right here. And we're going to use this as... Uh, it may look familiar. <laughs> we're going to use this as our... This will be our sleeping area, this will be a hospital, and this will be a jail cell. And uh, like I said, for some clutch things, or some very important things, we're going to mimic uh, as much as we can of Ryan's playthrough. And uh, so we're going to get started with that. So right now we're paused, and let's go ahead and um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure they're all down to construct. Uh, maybe not, maybe... Since we only have a skill of two, maybe we're not going to... Eh, we'll help construct. Why the heck not? So we're going to contribute to everything, all of the the menial tasks. And let's go ahead and get this pain train started. So they should start building here. Ooh, the other thing I forgot to do is we want to go ahead and equip our weapons. So I believe the, the pistol is the best... Uh, I believe it's the best DPS... And uh, let's go look at our character sheet and see who is the best shooter. It is not Ryan. It could be Mathis Games or myself. Um, let's give ourselves a pistol because we're greedy like that. So let's go ahead first off and let's unrestrict all these things so that we can use them if necessary. So let's go ahead and we'll give... Oh, look at that hair. That's like 19 or 2007 Dan hair. All right, so let's go ahead and equip... The pistol for Dan. We'll take... Uh, Ryan's not handy with the steel. He had, hasn't earned his keep. We're going to give him the, the knife. And we'll give Mathis... we got to unrestrict that first and foremost. We'll give Mathis the ye old hunting rifle. All right, looks good to me. So we're now equipped. And uh, this is our dog. Our dog, Crumpet. Can we rename it? We cannot rename our dog, Crumpet. Uh, but nonetheless, all right. So they should hopefully start to get building here. Um, learn clearing letters with right click. Okay. Ooh, the other thing we didn't do. We need to set up a... We need to set up... Hold on. I'm going to just turn the, the the music down just a hair. Uh, one thing we need to do is set up a dumping zone. So there is... We'll go to zone area. Um, we'll probably have our grow zone down here. So let's put the stock... Dumping stockpile, which is where we are going to store our junk. We'll put our junk right here make it a five by seven create a stockpile where your colonists will store resources so uh, i know ryan was talking about using uh, some sort of uh refrigerated area for this so let's actually make our true stockpile in westeros so we'll make it right here actually we want to make it just a little bit smaller because that me us, unlike Ryan, we like to keep things a little symmetrical. So I'm going to see if we can keep it like that so we can build a nice wall around it. Maybe eventually connect it, but at least for now, let's 
that looks good. Eight by eight stockpile. Cool. All right, so we have stockpile. All right, so these these guys should hopefully get get to step in here. Learn clearing letters. Got it. All right, so we're going to just the normal speed here. Construction failed. Excuse me. Male colonist. Northern Lion. We're Northern Lion's father. That's. There's a chance that could be in real life. All right, so as we go ahead and continue to build here, Mathis, what is Mathis doing? He, he was pining for Ryan. Um, as they're building this, we can speed this up, I suppose. But while they're doing that, let's go ahead and put down some flooring. Uh, because uh, unlike what Mathis said, uh, it, it helps with your joy. And uh, so apparently by having a floor within a building, it helps the overall happiness of our characters. So that's a good thing. All right, so we do not have enough wood. So as a result, what we're gonna do is we need to chop some wood. And so we're gonna assign a bunch of these bad boys to be cut down. Must designate wood yielding, sufficiently grown plants. Okay, that's not, a, there we go. So let's see who is going to be doing the, the plant cutting, myself and Ryan, because Mathis refuses to do hard labor, kind of like in real life. Uh, just joking, Mathis. He worked at uh, the Cheesecake Factory. If that's not hard labor, I don't know what is. All right, so they are hopefully... What is Mathis doing? He's hauling. Okay, so he's not completely inept at helping build this... Our colony. Let's go ahead. We're going to speed this up here, and hopefully they can... Get working on that. Uh, there we go. Floor is going down. We still have some shortage in the wall department, but it's coming together quite nicely. Uh, while they're also doing that, let's I'm gonna pause that and let's go ahead and put down some furniture. We're gonna put down some beds of the wood nature. And keeping true to form, let's go ahead and put one there. Actually, I'd prefer yeah, let's put one there. Furniture, wooden bed, sir. Right there, right there for myself, Mythos, and Ryan. Get to get to cleansing there, please, guys. What are cutting poplar tree? Oh, you know what? We should probably chop that tree down specifically so that so that we can build our area there. Because right now it's kind of blocking us in the rooster area. Also, this stuff needs to be hauled. Because it's blocking us in a highly, highly egregious way. Let's zoom in here. That's one of my things I want to try and do. I love zooming in so you can get the full picture. Especially, um, and this is nothing against Ryan, of course. But I was watching it on my TV. I actually had to sit up close um, to see it. Just because it's... Uh, it's a smaller game in nature. We need to clear this whole area, please. Thank you. So that makes sense. That's something that would have stumped me. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're figuring this out. Because I'd say, hey, why isn't our stuff being cleared? Because we built it in a very, very egregious manner. All right, so hopefully that'll get all cleared up here. And who's going to haul those woods? Or excuse me, those, who's going to haul those rocks? Let's go to work. I'm just, myself and Ryan are the only ones that actually, oh, no, 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 we didn't want to do that. Okay, so I went to manual priorities. I'm not ready, quite ready to do that just yet, but uh, let's go ahead and get back to work here, and let's speed it up. Okay. So someone's got to haul those rocks, and it's either going to be Ryan or myself. What is harvesting a poplar tree? I'm also harvesting a poplar tree. Nicely done. Uh, the other thing we need to set up here, if I'm not mistaken, I've actually never done it, but we need to set up uh, not a sun lamp. We need a basic lamp, which torch lamp. Put one of those in each room just to keep the keep our peeps happy for now. Okay, good. Matt, this is Matt. This is not really. Do what is he doing? Anything? He's wandering. Not all who wander are lost, except in Mathis's case. So since Mathis is wandering, we need to actually have him go do something of value. 
So can we train the dog? The animal can be assigned to a master. So we'll take Mathis. Can we train him? Cannot prioritize. Mathis is not a cleaner. We're going to find out about that. Oh, he's so useless. <clears throat> what can Mathis do? He can firefight. He's a doctor. Man, he is really just... He could... Actually, let's do that. We'll set up a grow zone. If Mathis is going to do anything, he's going to help us get our grow zone area. Because apparently, um, it's really important to grow food. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we're supposed to set up uh, four 8x8 eight eight areas for maximum Mathis growing. So there's one. There's two. There's three. And hopefully, so we don't want to go on that geyser. What I would like to do is stack chips for days. There we go. Alright, so Mathis can get going on that. The other thing I didn't know you could do, but now I know you can do, is you can set... Ooh, that's a little bit off. No, it's not. It's good. So you can set what is grown here. So... We're gonna go... View information about potatoes. I think I like potatoes. We'll go potatoes there. We'll go... Heal root. Do we have the ability to do this? Good question. Nope, no one can do that yet. So let's see what we can plant. Cotton, we'll plant some cotton there, and we'll go, we have cotton, we have that, hop plant. Why don't we go a little uh, strawberry, since Mathis is good at that, and then how about a little uh, rice? Looks good to us. All right, what is? what are we doing here? Cutting a potato plant. Okay, I'm starting to get concerned because our facility is not being built. And why that is, I think we need to set up our priorities here. So, number one priority is construction. Also his number one priority. Mathis' number one priority for the moment is going to be growing. There we go. So... Hopefully he listens to us. Nice. Excellent. Good work. Good work. Dan and Ryan, you guys are carrying... What is that? Is that poop on the floor? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so construction is done. We're probably going to have to go hauling is going to be our number two right now. Because we're going to manipulate the system here. We're going to micromanage the lives of... Of Pablo and Ryan and myself. And while Mathis is diligently planting... We're still one deal away here. Um, if he's hauling, why can we not build here? Just a blueprint. Nothing happens to be there. Are we out of wood? I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at this. I don't want time to pass us by because we're still in the first day. And we need these beds. We have to have them. What is he doing? Hauling silver. Why don't we... We'll do this. We'll go to work here. We'll make... Ryan's a better constructor, isn't he? Mathis is actually a phenomenal constructor. So we'll go... Uh, we'll do that. Hopefully Mathis will start building. Ah, it's a little... Why are we not building here? We can't really micromanage. We can just set up an area advantageous so we need to cut down on the hauling apparently um, so let's take Ryan off the ha Whoa. who's our better constructor we'll take Ryan off hauling then there we go okay now hopefully you should cleaning vomit <laughs> sounds like him at PAX um, I'm very concerned that this we're one piece away I don't get it. Why is he cleaning in that building? Let's figure this out here. Construct. Make that a number one priority for him. Uh, let's make this a number two priority for Mythos. There he goes. Come on, Ryan. You can do it. 
Please finish. Is he cleaning? Okay, I think that's the first step. That's the first step. Let's go ahead and speed this up here, hopefully. Ryan, build the wall, Ryan. Ryan, build the wall. Please. Are we... At, may, I'm guessing we're maybe out of wood, perhaps? That could be the only natural thing. Come on. That's a tree? What are you talking about? No! This is where we... This is where problems happen. Come on, boys. We need this. We have to have this room. That a boy. That a boy, Ryan. He's filling it in. Okay, good. Mathis is still diligently planting his, his seed into the poppy fields. There we go. Okay, so... We're a bit away from getting this thing complete. Nicely done. Math has stepped in. How about a nice bed? Wow, we get the short end of the stick. I will say this. This is how PAX normally works. Ryan and Mathis. <laughs> Sound asleep. Wood bed building. And I'm just sitting here on mutton chops on the floor. <laughs> Alright, so day one I'll say is not a overly successful it was decent um, I'd feel a little bit better we'd probably feel a lot better as an individual in terms of our mood if uh, we're uncomfortable I stole the beds all right so we're gonna speed this up through the evening looks like we have a turtle here tortoise is in pain hey, you know what they say about tortoises in pain they make great soup Actually, I've never had tortoise soup, and I don't know if that's a sensitive subject or if that's like a <laughs> a pita issue. Uh, so I, I am not trying to offend anyone with that. I'm just merely auto-saving here. Can we save here? Save. We'll go, uh, we'll call this, uh, egg station. Alright, just in case. Because we're probably prone to make some big mistakes. Ryan, first one awake! Uh, that may be true to life, but let's go ahead and... What is he doing? Consuming the meat. That's more... <laughs> that's more what he's about. Um, nicely done. He, he's just getting his breakfast. His knacker brought, if you will. Alright. <laughs> let's go ahead and... I'd like to see this bed get built. Hey, Dan, you need to wake up here, buddy. Well, you know what? He didn't have a great night's sleep. Okay, so while that's going on, Mathis is cloud watching. Um, okay. Can we harvest this somehow? We can harvest that. We'll have Mathis hopefully. No, no, we don't want to cut that. We'd like to harvest. I wonder why that one, that one must be ripened. So we'll set these to harvest here. Anything else we need to do? Um... I got our. I had a little breakfast this morning. Where's Ryan? What's he doing? Also cloud watching. Maybe I haven't given these guys enough to think about. So that being said, let's go to our zone areas. And I'd like to see where's our. Do we not set a stockpile zone? I think we did. It's just hard to see where we put it. Um. Oh, I think it's right here. Never mind. Memory of a young squirrel. So, let's go ahead and potentially build a wall around that. And, uh, just call it right here. We call it as we see it here, boys. In case we need this for refrigeration, also I believe we're going to need a, uh, a room for, for getting intelligent tasks done. So, let's go ahead and, ooh, we can't build that far. We'll, we'll set it up like this. I like a nice symmetrical compound. And let's also not forget our doors here. Let's put them like so and like so. Hopefully these guys get to work here a little bit. Um, something's going on with the history. What's that? Wealth. Oh, our wealth is going up. I like it. There's a, there's a lot of depth to this game. It's highly enjoyable. All right, so as we press on, let's go ahead and speed up. And see if we can at least get 
something going. What are we doing right now? Excuse me. Going for a walk. Hey, Dan, do what you need to do, I suppose. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and we need to chop down some more trees here. Let's actually... There we go. So hopefully that'll give us the materials we need to build up these secondary areas. And Ryan did a little harvestation. That's that's a beautiful thing. We're gonna go we'll go full speed here. I'd like to get these buildings built in day two. And it's looks like it's going well for us. Alright, I like it. So well, that's moving forward here. So we have our our main repository here. Uh, this is, I guess, we'll call this HQ, if you will. We have uh, working on our secondary areas here. While that's going on, let's go ahead and put a floor in our stockpile zone. We'll put a floor in our hopefully training facility. I like that everyone's working hard and that we're uh, we're making progress. A lot of progress. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, good. Um, harvest failed. That's okay. Maybe, we, should we not have us harvest? Where's the harvest station here? Fire, patient, bed rest, warden, hunt, plant cut. There's no harvest. I guess that would be something to do with plant cutting. Alright. So, well, that's pressing forward. I'd really like to see these get finished. But uh, we just went over the 30 minute mark. I'm going to try to keep these right around 30. What the heck is that door doing there? Deconstruct that. Um, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this experimental one-off mimic let's play of Northern Lions RimWorld. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, since it is a new series, clicking the like button uh, really does help out a great deal. If you guys want specific things moved over from Ly Ryan's wor lore world, Please let me know in the comments below. I'll be looking for things from episode 1 and episode 2. Leave it in my comments below. And I'll be sure to implement them. Nonetheless, I appreciate you guys' support in, in my crazy endeavors. I had a lot of fun with this. I feel like I'm learning in an odd way. I feel like I'm learning along with Ryan by watching him. And it's fun. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.